Hello everyone, good day. My name is Jason Moika and for today I'm just going to read our week's discussion prompt and then I'm going to proceed on discussing it or diving deeper on the topic and then after that uh, uh, maybe we can have a great discussion. Yeah. Then so our uh, week's prompt is that the textbook suggests that there are at least six barriers to equity. Uh, which of these barriers do you think will have the most negative effect on participation among girls and women in the future? Give an explanation for choice. So, for me, there are two barriers that I can see that has the most negative effect on on the girls and women in the future. And I think that is the, my first one is the male-dominated or identified or centered sport organization. And the second one is... Um, the few models of women in position of power. So let's discuss the first barrier. And um, to discuss that, I will um, connect some topics in our lesson and in our uh, society, like the news. Yeah. So in our lecture notes or our textbook, it said like um, some of the doctors said like um, if women play uh, contact sports or physical sports, then they will have a problem on their reproductive system but some of the male athletes have also problem in their reproductive system by playing like sports like um like the physical sports like football hockey and basketball and etc but they didn't mention men right and that's one of the criticism or social biases that we encounter today and another one is the if there's like a fight in a uh, in a sport like there's a fight that occurring then the people love it when it's men then when it's women it's weird it's unusual right then um another one is the uh the comparison the salary on the uh, wnba or women basketball team and the male basketball team they compare it like uh, the male basketball team must have a greater salary because they have more physical but the women basketball team is also physical, but they didn't mention that or anything. I think it's about the social norms and how the media projects the male basketball team as a higher basketball team in the world. And they didn't discuss about the women basketball team at all. Then the second one is the few models of women in position of power. And most of uh, the advertisement is about male athletes. If we buy sports drink, buy shoes, it's all male athletes. They did it. It's mostly male athletes, right? That's why uh, they emphasize more male athletes because, and that makes the, the, it makes the public more interested about the male athletes than, than, than the women athletes and how it affects the, um, the women or the, girls in the future i think they will be less interested because of the uh social criticism or norms and they will have uh, a lesser popularity that's why they will not choose this one because why would i choose uh, in their thinking is like why would i choose this one if i will not have the much appreciation that i will have right and i think that's the two most important one and i'm excited to hear yours and have a good day and Good luck.